consideration of the request for the tax waiver for the four entities began with the presentation of the report of the Finance Committee. The committee recommended that the waivers for the Immigration Service, the Ministry for Regional Reorganization and Development, Metro Mass Transit and Intercity STC be approved. Dr. Marcus Ibeyeboa is the chairman of the committee. The Ministry of Finance procured 100 buses for the company. These buses were delivered to two tranches in November 2019 and January 2020. The buses are also currently at the port waiting for clearance. Mr. Speaker, considering the enormous benefits to be derived from all of the aforementioned, the committee is of the view that the requests are in the right direction. The committee therefore recommends to the House to adopt this report. In seconding the motion, ranking member of the committee, Kese Lato Forsen, argued for a regime that measures the productivity of these state entities as against the incentives granted them by the House. We cannot continue giving them tax waivers and public money for the purposes of the operations without demanding accountability. We need to get accountability from these two institutions for us to be sure that the money that we are operating to these institutions, they are living up to expectations and to report to Parliament of Ghana for us to be sure that indeed the money that we are giving to them is doing well. The debate on the waiver took a different turn when the minority chief whip, Muntaka Mubarak, urged the House to establish a committee to regularize the granting of tax waivers in a bid to prevent its abuse. We need to revise and create and create a clear cut policy or create a clear cut direction that under which waivers will be approved in this house. The way and nature that is done, because I'm afraid if you are not careful, very soon government may find it difficult to be able to run this program. The call won the support of the leader of the house. We need to take a position, the house needs to take a position on the uh, grant of tax waivers. Because, as I've said, we should examine the impact of the tax waivers on the economic environment. And in particular, relating to the efficiency of the operations of these enterprises. The Minister of Education finally brought the controversial Public Universities Bill to Parliament. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Menzo Poku.